Despite its modest size, Zurich, Switzerland has higher transit ridership than many large European cities. As every city, we have some hotspots where the buses, trolley buses or other buses always get caught in traffic. And we are really trying to resolve that by prioritizing public transport in forms of bus lanes or also signal priority. That's uh, even more important than electrification, I think. You can find buses and light rail vehicles stuck in traffic in Zurich, but much less so than in most other cities. Instead, transit riders get dedicated lanes or streets mysteriously free of congestion. Many roads in Zurich have dedicated transit lanes, and if you look closely, you will often see separate traffic signals for transit. The seemingly simple painted bus lanes work well because the signals prioritize transit vehicles over other traffic and restrict the volume of traffic entering stretches of streets without transit lanes. This innovative two-way bus lane will soon be replaced by making the street transit only, which will make transit even more attractive compared to driving. Zurich may have the most sophisticated transit priority and congestion management system in the world. Computers do most of the work of keeping transit riders moving smoothly. But there is also a control room where people can intervene if transit riders are being delayed. Car traffic quickly expands to fill expanded road space in urban areas. The old cliche, you can't build your way out of congestion, has been proven true over and over again. And the opposite is also true. When you make a car lane into a bus lane, traffic disappears. And traffic speeds don't usually change much. The 2004 European Commission report, Reclaiming City Streets for People, notes that while it is typically assumed that reducing the capacity available for cars will result in increased traffic congestion in the surrounding streets, the experience in a number of European cities is that some of the traffic disappears or evaporates. Because so much road space has been dedicated to transit, people in Zurich can usually choose to avoid traffic congestion by riding transit and there seems to be less congestion in Zurich than in many other European cities. On May 13, 2019, the canton of Zurich declared a climate emergency. Hopefully Zurich's electric buses will soon be getting even more bus lanes and more effective transit priority. Zurich's experience provides lessons that can be applied in any city's climate emergency response. If you want to find out more about Zurich's success story, Check out streetfilm.org's excellent video, Zurich, a world-class transit metropolis.